Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss a bit about the structure of the atoms. So, according to Ernest Rutherford, yeah, the same combo structure of the atom. Na kwa imaundo na vitu vitatu. Kichwa kwanza the same ni nucleus, ambo ina kwa ni central part of the atoms, ambo kazi yake ni ku kill protons pamoja na neutrons and also we have shells or orbit sometimes tunazita energy level ni hizi cycles ambazo zinakuwa zinaizunguka nucleus so shell it is a cycle pass which is taken by electrons to revolve around the nucleus so kwenye kazi hizi electrons ni kuweza kuizunguka hii nucleus lakini zinaizunguka kwa kutumia hizi special way ambazo tunaziita shells so shell it is a cycle pass taken by an electron to revolve around the nucleus also number 3 we have subatomic particles isn't atom isn't particle ndogo ndogo ambazo zinatengeneza atom which is protons neutrons and the electrons kwa pamoja tunaziita subatomic particles so according to Ernest Rutherford in the structure your atom so starting by number one which is nucleus so nucleus in a core located at the center of the atom so is the central part of the atom which consists of protons and neutrons center up there's a quality cycle of the dog which can contain protons and the neutrons and this is what we call nucleus so that is number one number two we have seen that we have shells shells go oh, here comes a nucleus this one it is not a shell it is a nucleus but the first layer after nucleus it is what we call shell or in shell like a shell or sometimes as it orbits Sometimes pia tunazita energy level. Kwa hiyo kazi yake ni provide way ambayo hizi electrons zitakuwa zinaizunguka ile nucleus. So shell is a cycular path or is a cycular way taken by an electrons to revolve around the nucleus. Kwa hiyo kuchukulia mfano wa shell in shell ambapo kwenye shell inakuwa imekeli electrons na hizi electrons zinakuwa zinaizunguka nucleus. And lastly, we have subatomic particles. Kwa kuni subatomic particles, tuteza kwa nama what is protons, what is electrons, and what is neutrons. So starting by electrons. Electrons, it is a negative charge. Ndo mani mezo kweka sign up, which show it is negative. So that is number one. Also, this electrons it has a mass of 9.1 exponent negative 31 kilogram. Weight of every electron, kila electron ni yona, ina yu mass ya 10.1 exponent negative 31. But also it is found outside the nucleus. Kwa mba nani ya nucleus una protoni pamoja na neutron. Lakini nje ya nucleus it is where you can find number of electrons. It is found outside the nucleus or it found in the shells of an atoms. So that is all about the electrons. But this electrons is classified in my name. There is an inner shell. This shell is an inner shell and this shell is an outermost shell. So, these electrons are in the inner shell, sometimes what is it? Core electrons. Core electrons, electrons which are found in the inner shell of an atom. Now, the inner electrons has participated in the reaction because there is an attraction between positive and negative. So, it is very good because it is a chemical reaction. Also, we have type 2 of electrons, in these electrons, ambazo zinapatikana kwenye outermost shell. These electrons, ambazo zinapatikana kwenye outermost shell, zenye huwa na zita valence electrons. So, valence electrons 
are those electrons which are found in the outermost shell of an atoms. So, unapona reaction yote mefanyika. Reaction is what was na involved number of electrons. So, electrons ambazo was na participate kwenye reaction ni his valence electrons. Kwa sababu, zenye attraction between electrons and positive nucleus, attraction yake ni ndogo kwa sababu hizi electrons is na distance kubwa. So, it is very possible for them to undergo chemical reaction instead of these core electrons, electrons ambazo na patikana kwenye shell ya ndani. So that's all about uh, electrons. Also we have protons, this one. So protons, it is a positive charge. Kwa electrons, negative charge. Protons, it is a positive charge. Kwa yu hapa kuna attraction between this positive and um, electrons. Ndomono tuwezo kuona distance ya hapa na hapa ni ndogo. Kwa sababu hapa kuna attraction kubwa. Lakini ukiwezo kuangalia distance from the nucleus to the second shell, which is the outermost shell, distance yupo kubwa. Kwa sababu, hii positive charge inashindo kwa attract zaidi zi electrons yambazo ziko kwenye shell za mbali. Lakini pia from the nucleus to the first shell, hapa kuna kuna attraction kubwa. Lakini from the first shell to the second shell, hapa kuna repulsion because this one it is negative and this one it is negative. Kwa hiyo hapa ndo mwono wezo kuona distance mwongaze kwa sababu there is repulsion. In chemistry we call screening effect. How to jifunza siku nyingine. So protons it is a positive charge. Also it has a mass of 1.67 exponent negative 27. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kuangalia mass ya proton ni kubwa yi compare na mass ya electrons. Also, it is found inside the nucleus of an atoms. Kwa yu protons inapatikana ndani ya nucleus, but electrons, it is found outside the nucleus of an atoms. And lastly, we have neutrons, number of neutrons. So neutrons, it is a neutral charge. Kwa yu, it is not positive or negative, it is neutral. Also, it is found inside the nucleus. Kwamba neutrons is napatikana ndani ya nucleus ya atom flani and not outside the nucleus. But also, the mass of, of neutrons, it is uh, significant near to this of protons. Sometimes we neze kawa kubwa kido kuliko ya protons. So that's all about him. neutrons. But ukeza kuangalia hii structure hapa, utuweza kuona distribution of these electrons in different shells of an atoms. So this distribution of electrons in different shells of the atom in chemistry process what na ita electronic configuration. So electronic configuration is the distribution of electrons in different shells of an atom or in the arrangement of electron in various shells of an atoms. So, um, next video tena kujifunza namna gani unwezo ka uka draw easy electronic configuration namna gani unwezo kaonesha number of electrons jinsi zilibo jipangilia kwenye shell mbali mbali. But briefly is that you can never draw electronic configuration unless you learn how to find the number of electrons. How to weza kabisa kuchora electronic configuration bila kufaham number of electrons. Um, so, nyezi na ukuleza kidogo na mnagana nyezo kupata number of electrons. So, to get number of electrons, for a neutral atom, lazima uwezo kufahamu kwanza number of protons. Ukisha pata number of protons, itakuwa ni laisi pia kuweza kupata number of electrons. So actually, proton num uh, electron, electron number, it depends on proton number. Also, proton number depends on atomic number. Kwa hiyo kuweza kufahamu what is atomic number, pia utuweza kufahamu what is proton numbers and how many number of electrons are present. So mfano, for neutral atoms, if you get atomic number 10, means number of protons pia itakuwa ni 10, like pia number of electrons itakuwa ni 10. For neutral atom, 
kama atomic number ikiwa ni 6 pia proton number itakuwa ni 6 pia number of electrons itakuwa ni 6 kwa hiyo tunaenda ku draw diagram yenye 6 number of electrons so before you draw or you write electronic before you draw electronic configuration you have to learn first to how you can obtain atomic number ukishapata atomic number to consider kwa ndio proton number lakini pia to consider kwa ni electron number kwenye neutral atoms so we have this periodic table here hii periodic table inakusaidia kuweza kufahamu atomic number ukishafahamu atomic number pia utaweza kupata proton number lakini pia utaweza kupata number of electrons so um, this periodic table it has columns and periods uh, structure ya mwisho ya periodic table ilikuwa designed by Henry Mosley ambaye alisema kwamba the properties of element are a periodic function of their atomic numbers ikiwa na maana ya kwamba element kwenye hii periodic table zimekuwa arranged in order of increasing atomic number kwamba unaenda kwa mtiririko kutoka ndogo kwenda kubwa so you find that hydrogen here atomic number it is 1 helium it is 2 lithium it is 3 nitrogen it is 7 neon it is 10 chlorine it is 17 and calcium it is 20 kwa hiyo Atomic number for calcium, it is 20. And we know that for a neutral atom, atomic number equals to proton number, and proton number equals to electron number. So if atomic number for calcium, which is 20, so even if for proton, it will be 20, even for electron, it will be 20. Atomic number of potassium, so for potassium, which is 19, so even if proton number, it will be 19, even number of electrons will be 19. So utapoenda ku draw electronic configuration utaenda kutumia 18 number of electrons. So that is how you can obtain number of electrons then after it is very possible to draw the electronic configurations. So this was part 1 for atomic structure or structure of the atom. So subscribe this channel for more information. Tutakuwa tuna part 2, pamoja na part 3 up to part 4. Thank you so much.